How to be organized at work. We all know being organized at work is important, but it's an ongoing struggle for many people. Believe it or not, staying organized is not as daunting as it may seem. A few quick fixes and some ongoing solutions make it easier than you might have ever thought. Managing your space and time. Monitor your activities. Spend a couple days keeping a journal or log of your daily activities. This will help you see exactly what you do that you might not even realize, and it will provide an initial glimpse into organizational and productivity gaps. This exercise should also be done with your big picture goals in mind. Through the activity log, you can see what activities might be time wasters and which activities might actually further your goals. Determine your productivity times. Some of us are morning people, and some of us cringe at the idea of mornings. You might already have a sense of what times of day you're most productive. Whether you prefer evenings, mornings, lunchtime, or right before or after workday rush hours, take advantage of those times to maximize your productivity. Prioritize your tasks. We all know that some tasks are more important than others, but we don't always prioritize them accordingly. So develop a ranking system by flagging or starring important tasks, for example, and be honest and flexible. Knock out quick tasks right away. Not all tasks need to be prioritized and scheduled for a future completion time. Some tasks take nearly as much time to plan for or schedule as they take to accomplish. If that's the case and you can bang out those tasks right away, by all means do it. Handling quick tasks immediately also helps prevent procrastination. Manage clutter and work materials. Our desks easily go from cluttered to tornado sites, obviously hampering organization. Some people even operate on a clean desk only policy. While that's not absolutely necessary, take steps to clear your workspace. Declutter. Toss your junk in the garbage and file your needed materials systematically. Clear clutter whenever possible, during lulls in the workday, breaks, or in between tasks. Clean up after yourself immediately. That way it's on the top of your mind. Plus, you avoid the inevitable agitation of having current clutter become part of your future clutter. Keep necessary supplies handy. Not everything around you is clutter, of course. Having needed tools available saves you time and makes good use of your precious space. Schedule activities and appointments. Some people schedule only meetings, but not activities on their to-do list. Scheduling the most important tasks as well as appointments can be helpful. You might also batch your days by having meetings only on Tuesdays and Thursdays, for example. Keep some holes in your schedule as well for creative time to yourself or to accommodate the unexpected. Use an organizer and calendar. These can be pen and paper organizers, or they could be software-based calendars and personal assistant apps, such as iCalendar or Google Now. Categorize your activities. Categorizing or color-coding activities can give you a quick visual reminder of what's important where. For example, categories might include correspondence, projects, events, meetings, brainstorms, and even breaks or exercise and gym time. Streamline your technology. Online organizers and email platforms such as Outlook, for example, can combine your to-do lists, calendars, and addresses. This not only boosts your efficiency but helps streamline your thinking. 4. Delegate wherever possible. In the madness of the workday, it's easy to forget that you don't have to do everything yourself. Delegate to an assistant or, if you're particularly swamped, ask a colleague to do you a solid and help you with a particular task. You can always repay them later when things slow down. 5. 